On 20 and 40 is KVU's in-depth look at explosive growth in Central Texas because of the pandemic. Traffic hasn't been too bad lately around our city, but just give it time. Things will get back to normal eventually. Today, Austin City leaders will take a vote on Cat Metro's Project Connect program. KVU's Tori Larna joins us live this morning. And Tori, this plan could expand public transportation in the city. Yeah, Vaughn, in fact, city leaders have heard from 57,000 people in the community about this project and their thoughts, whether it was through virtual town halls they held in May, events that they organized, or even just asking people on the streets about their thoughts. And I know one thing is clear for all of us, we just want to see this traffic headache in Austin go away. So this new plan that they're proposing and should be voted on today will improve and add commuter rail lines in Austin. Uh, it would also add three new light rail lines. One would connect the airport to downtown, one from Parmer Lane in North Austin to Slaughter Lane in South Austin. And then finally, a gold line would run six miles between downtown and ACC's Highland Campus, of course, with a stop at the University of Texas. Now, through Cat Metro's research, they found at least 90% of the community said that they want these lines, and nearly everyone said Austin needs more, quote, major city transit options. We're rapidly growing. Everyone knows that. Uh, historically, people talk about that we didn't plan for our growth as maybe smartly as we should have. And people want us to finally kind of address these uh, significant mobility issues. The plan could cost nearly $10 billion. It would also include a new river crossing and an underground tunnel. Now, if this vote passes today, city leaders will start looking at the budget in July. But ultimately, the vote will be left up to the community in November. Live in Austin, Tori Larned, KVU News.